and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about some just minor changes I made to the sound system and then finally uh, we're going to have our initial voice recognition test. So let's check it out. Right, so we had to do a couple things to the sound system uh, to make this all work. So I upgraded the amplifier actually to 100 watts here uh, for the amp. And the reason is is because between the, the three possible inputs, the Easy B, the Bluetooth, or the from the computer or the actual mp3 board at the top here um, when they all come together and you have multiple inputs going into one audio system it cuts the volume in half so you need to power it up and what I did is there were I, I really struggled with this for a while but I did get it all to work because what I did is I bought a mixer here that you can see this unit right here where it has one output that goes basically to the sound system and then to the voice control board and then it has four inputs so I have three audio inputs and the, all three goes in there but what you can do is you can adjust the output right here with these little knobs and that amplifies the sound so if one is is too low you can pump it up etc so uh, works really well and uh, it's a mixer that takes all those and mixes them together now the other thing I had to do is I had to put these ground loop isolators on every input because of the back feeding of the sound. So, but once I put those on, all the little buzzing and humming disappeared. So we have our system all ready to go. The other thing we did is we added this up on the top here, which is a Bluetooth receiver, which is going to be connected to the uh, machine, the PC itself. Uh, and uh, that's another way when we're using the voice recognition that we can do all these types of things. So. Uh, yeah, so I had to do a lot of extra work here. I had another the Drock Bluetooth board that was problematic. That thing was terrible. So I got rid of that and um, I got everything hooked up now for I think we got the voice down and everything's good now. So um, what we're going to do now is do an initial voice recognition test. So remember I'm using the little microphone right here as my mic. So when this is up here on the body it's going to be like sort of near close to this top plate here so it's going to be at the perfect height for just speaking to him and the mic is really sensitive now for right now just for testing purposes the mic you can see right here the wire goes down to my laptop which is running the software and everything but eventually that will go into this computer which is actually on the robot this is an, also a windows 11 machine right here just shrunken down and so the microphone will plug into this directly and so it'll all be housed within the robot so but let's go ahead and uh, let me uh, show you how the voice recognition kind of works all right so what we're going to do is we're going to say a series of phrases and have him respond back to us basically based on the voice recognition and the voice recognition now there's a couple phases with this voice recognition our first initial test here is just to make sure the, the uh, functional part of it works. So the mic and all that response stuff and everything. And it's running through uh, the Windows PC right now. So what I've done is I created a whole series of just uh, quick phrases and stuff that he would respond to. So, And one of the things uh, when you're using just plain voice recognition without any kind of AI chatbot or anything is that the phrases have to be exactly as you uh, created them. Uh, otherwise it doesn't recognize it. Um, now you'll hear me uh, give a command so that you can turn on the voice recognition on the PC. So it has an actual voice mode on it. You can turn it on and off. So when you're ready to actually accept voice commands, then you can turn it on and off. Right now it's in sleep mode. And then we'll turn it on and then we'll kind of go through it. Keep in mind is as you're, if you want to naturally talk to the robot, then uh, a lot of times what you'll have to do for certain phrases and things like that is you make different variations of it depending how you might speak it. So whether you use you are or your, you know, things like that. So I mean, this just setting all that up is could take massive amounts of time, but uh, you know, if you have people over, you can have a nice conversation with the robot and everything like that. Now, eventually, hopefully, the chatbot will just have a natural conversation with it. But for right now, we've got to hard code all this stuff inside the robot. So I have a list here of just some stuff I did here just to demonstrate like how it works. But I'm not going to be screaming or anything like that. The microphone on the front picks it up really well. 
and I just basically speak into it and then uh, it starts. So first thing we have to do is unmute and then the voice recognition won't be in sleep mode anymore. All right, so we're gonna test out our initial voice recognition software right here. You can see I'm actually standing behind the robot and the microphone's up front. So this will also test our sensitivity no matter where you are in the room. So I'm gonna start with the first phrase, but one thing to keep in mind is when you're using the voice recognition software, when it's listening, it's always listening to everything that's happening in the room. That includes right now when I'm talking. So what you wanna do is make a slight pause after you finish talking so that it doesn't take one of your last words that you say and try to join it on to your phrase that you're trying to do something with. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna pause for a second, then I'll start the process. Hey Robbie the Robot. Stop calling me Robbie the Robot. You got the wrong TV series. My name is Robot from Lost in Space. If you continue to call me Robbie, I will have to zap you with 40,000 volts. You're a little sensitive. I know. Robot, what's your model number? I didn't need to know all that. I am sorry. Hey robot, tell me a joke. Why did the robot cross the road? Because he was carbon bonded to the chicken. Ha 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 ha. Robot, that joke wasn't good. Robot, are you worth all the money I spent on you? Building a B9 robot. Bubble, $300. Torso, $1,000. Laser cut steel tread sections, $1,200. Having me standing in your living room. Priceless. You think you're priceless? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Robot, how do you feel today? Not too good. If you would stop screwing around and just finish me, I would feel much better. It's complicated and takes a lot of time. Oh man, you nerds always have an excuse. Can you do an Elvis impersonation? Well, can you do Elvis? You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. How's that? Pretty bad. Baloney. Looks like initial voice recognition test is successful. I am very happy. Okay guys, so you can see it works really, really well. Um, and um, I know a lot of um, the guys in the club will actually say you have to walk around with a microphone on your lapel or something like that. You don't, right? The, the spot on the front, which is that little sort of, it's supposed to be a Geiger counter actually, uh, to house the microphone works really well if you get a good sensitive microphone that has noise reduction built into it, like I did. So if you look at my previous video, you'll see what I did to get that all set up. But what will happen eventually is that microphone, instead of going into the PC laptop over there, will go to this little PC right here, and it will be running the same software, and all the files and everything will be on here. So it should be pretty cool. So when you have people over, you can have some fun conversations. You can make all kinds of jokes and do all kinds of things. Uh, those were just some quick things I just off the top of my head threw out there and uh, threw in there and uh, just wrote them all up inside the uh, software. But you can see it's pretty much limitless. And now with the voice cloning software that we have, you can clone the original actor's voice here, make any phrase you want at all. So uh, it's really, really cool.
So now, this is sort of a manual voice recognition where in the future, of course, we're have the AI chatbots actually kind of conversing back and forth where you'll pretty much be able to say anything and you never know what's going to be the result. So that should be pretty fun when that happens. But anyway, we're getting there now. Uh, next step is to get the uh, actual onboard computer here set up and running. We got to make it auto boot. We have to make it auto load the ARC software uh, when it fires up and a couple other things. So we can put those in the startup uh, folder to make them start up automatically. So we got a bunch of work on that. So there's some software stuff we got to figure out first and get that hooked up. And at that point, then we'd be ready to temporarily for right now, put the torso on the body and start getting the electrical uh, connectors for the head section right? and uh, testing all that out and stuff like that. So. We're coming along, but this was a major step to get the sound systems done and this uh, this voice recognition going. So, uh, super happy with it. So, so far, so good. Guys, well, I hope you enjoyed that video on the voice recognition. Pretty cool, works really well, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, another step off the checklist here, but we only got a thousand more steps to go <laughs> before this is all finished. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun and uh, another major milestone completed. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, put your comments down below, and I'll see you on the next B9 build video. Peace, guys.